So in this video, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my drawing technique, what there is of it. Um, I'm not really much of an artist. I'm just kind of a doodler. I just like to draw whatever comes to mind. But that being said, uh, I'll go ahead and talk about how I like to draw. And I don't know if this will inspire you or it'll make you just want to try some different things. But like I said, I'm there are great artists on YouTube and I'm not one of them. I am just a guy who likes to, to doodle. Mostly for the purposes of relaxation. So Okay, I've got two sharp pencils, and this is my favorite kind of pencil. It's a 2B. I have two of them. Um, 2Bs are soft and dark. Other pencils I use not as frequently are HB and 2H, which are uh, harder pencils, and they're good for sketching out lines and stuff, but sometimes I just like to dive in with the 2B. So you, the first thing you might notice about me is I hold my pencil very funny. Um, it's not the way normal people hold their pencil. And there is a reason for that is that I used to be left-handed. Actually, I'm still left-handed, but I'm also right-handed. But I hold my pencil in my right hand the same way I do in my left hand. So I find that it uh, gives me some control. It, uh, I, I've never been successful in holding my pencil in the traditional way. But I'm not saying that you should try to do this because this is kind of my own cross to bear. It definitely didn't make me popular with my teachers in school. A lot of them just thought that I was hopeless. When I draw, um, I do a lot of shading and shadowing and I'm very very free with the pencil I I call it automatic I don't know what it's called but I like to just uh, call it it's just my style but basically I I look at a paper and I just let my my pencil kind of take over and sometimes I like to do it like this because I don't know what I'm even going to come up with like right now I don't know what this object is I don't know if it's a rock but I do I have to admit after a hard day of work it's awfully relaxing to come home and draw for you So I do like to shade, and I like to do a sense of depth, and I just kind of decide from the get-go where the light's coming from, and in this case the light's coming from this direction. This is the light. So here, this is all in shadow. And as we, the extreme right is going to be darker, but as we move towards the rounded center, it lightens up. See? And that's how I sort of achieve this illusion that this object is rounded, that it has some degree of that it, it can it can take this light here but this being in a shadow because this curves around and I don't know what this object is sometimes I 
just like the sound of pencil on paper. Okay, so that's just kind of a general idea of of an object. So, let's move on. Oh, this is a good sketch pad too, so doggone it if I'm not wasting good paper, but I don't think this is a waste. I think I'm doing good stuff here. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, now, what should we think about drawing at this point? Um, I don't know. Let's uh, turn this into kind of a portrait. Okay. Okay, so. When I do portraits, I do, I do it the, the the bad way, the way they tell you never to do it, which is um, I just start at it. I don't do the whole circle and divide the circle in half. I'm I'm familiar with how to do that, but uh, I just like to just cut right into it because I enjoy drawing so much. I, I think that if you if you wanted to become a serious portrait artist, I'm the wrong channel to watch. But if you like to draw sort of in a comic booky sort of way, then this is how I do it. And this is a lot of it is just driven by um, pure imagination. And I might look at something but mostly what's coming onto the paper is kind of in my own head. So I'm drawing a portrait right now. What I'm first doing is I'm just sort of laying out the uh, the rough details. The 
very rough details. The way I do hold my pencil, I think it does help me a little bit. The biggest drawback is I do get a lot of uh, graphite dust on my hand. I do think it gives me a good level of control. And when I shade, I just sort of kind of like try to shade around into shapes. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, so a lot of my drawing actually just consists of shading. So very, very basic stuff, and I'm showing it in a very, very basic way, but a lot of this is in a very fast way, how I like to, 
to draw. And as you can see, even though it starts out looking kind of messy, we do start to get somewhere. We start to see a picture forming. We start to see this man coming to life. Even though this is very rough, we start to recognize who he is. Maybe what time period he lives in. Some people say that you should never shade like this because, you know, you should always have consistent lines and otherwise you'll get this sort of cross hatchy effect. But I kind of like shading like this, so I kind of do it my own way. The bottom line is, is the more I add details to this, the more recognizable this guy gets. And he's a little cross-eyed. <laughs> Then you start to sort of find the cheek puns, start to add them in. Keep in mind where the shadows are at. And then you start to make sure the face has a true structure like it's supposed to have. The neck has things it's supposed to have on it. Then we start to see that this guy is a World War II guy, like a Nerf Army Air Corps a pilot. And as you 
can see it, it's rough, but we start to see. And it's just, uh, it's mostly for fun. So this is a very rough sketch. A very, very, um, general idea of how I like to draw. And when I have lots of time to do a picture, not 20 minutes or so, I can do some pretty amazing stuff, but in 20 minutes, I hope that you got something out of this, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute little drawing tutorial, and if you like it, I'll do another one, and maybe a longer one, show a little bit more detail. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.